Good morning, everyone. My name is Crystal with Vintage Booth Pro. Today, I am doing some shopping for my vintage booth, looking for some vintage home decor. And I am in the great state of Alabama, a small town called Tuscaloosa. Uh, you may have heard of it because a certain school that's here. And actually, we are in town. I have in-laws that live here, but I also uh, was a student there. And um, it is homecoming. So, so we are here for a little bit of football and um, homecoming activities and to visit with family. I'm not interested in the football, so I'm spending the day shopping. Um, so hopefully I will find some fun finds. I have very limited space. I'm in my husband's car. So we have uh, just a little bit of space that hopefully I can fill all the way to the top. <laughs> so let's see what I can find. So my first stop was America's Thrift Stores. Now I did go on a Saturday and I did look for yard sales, but I just couldn't find anything. That would have been my first choice. Um, I love looking through this knickknack section. Seems like so much work to put each individual thing into a bag and then put a price on it, but I don't know. Who knows? Um, the prices were high in the store. Like this nativity set had the original price on each one and they were $1.99 originally. So not great quality. And it was still marked $7.99 for the set. Somebody will love that, enjoy it, but not for resale. Um, so please excuse my videography. I'm trying to get braver when recording around other people. I'm typically so focused on shopping and I do shop fast and record fast. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to get braver on this on this video just re with my recording indoors around other people. So this, um, just like I said, just really high prices and not much selection in this store. Maybe I waited too late to get there because I was like 30 minutes past opening. This was pretty. I uh, noticed it said Mother 91, kind of sad. I hate to see when handmade stuff like that is donated, don't you? A lot of silver plated items, but really too high. Hey, there's the Alabama thing. Um, really too high uh, for resellers to do anything with. And I don't know if silver plated things sell for you. Uh, that was interesting. I thought I wasn't sure what those ladies were doing, but kind of a wall hanging. This um, should have looked at that bird thing closer. I was focused on this silver tray, but I looked at the price and it was $11.99. Egg tray, I always loved those, but that one was pretty beat up with the gold leaf edging, um, and I hate glassware. I always look at the blankets and um, things like that. Um, just a lot of beautiful handmade pieces that hopefully go quickly. I love handmade items, and I hope they go to an, a new home that will appreciate them. Some really pretty options. So I decided to stop at one of my favorite consignment shops when I was a student here, and it's still open. Um, I just love it. It's close to campus, so I kind of want to get in and get out uh, because traffic is already picking up. The homecoming parade starts in an hour and a half, and traffic was already super hard. So it's mostly clothing, but just for nostalgia's sake, I want to check it out. So let's see what's there. Plus, it's across the street from where my husband and I had our first date at De Palma's. So the store is called Twice as Nice in beautiful downtown Tuscaloosa. And when you first walk into the store, there is a large section of home decor. And it's so funny. I rarely looked at this section when I was a student here. But look at this beautiful carved piece um, on clearance for $1,000. Sadly, would not fit in my car. And these chairs were $200 each, I think. That is a McKenzie Child's cushion. And the rest is clothes. So I wasn't able to get much more footage throughout the day. But I did stop at Goodwill and a couple of antique stores. And here's my haul. Okay, I am back after a long, long, long day of shopping. Had so much fun, um, and now I wanna show you everything I got. So, um, here we go. Okay, so I did end up getting that granny square quilt. It's very green, um, like a lot of green tones. I might put it out in my booth now. Um, I don't know if people might wanna use the green for like a Christmas, or might it might be more St. Patrick's Day. It was $5.99. I did find birds. I love these little birds. Uh, seem to be in good condition, but I am going to paint them for $4.99 for three of them. So not too terrible. And the only other thing I got at the first stop, which was America's Thrift Store, um, was $4.99. This little birdhouse. Um, they had a ton of birdhouses. 
and I should have gotten more. I don't know. The birdhouse is so for you. I am just like really focused on birds right now. And this was just really beautiful. Um, so yeah, that was my first stop. The second stop, which was the twice as nice consignment cell, um, I got sucked back into my old ways and only found some clothes, which was just so easy to do. Uh, first of all, I found a few things for my son and some shoes. But check this out, at Johnny Was, great brand to resell. It was $15, like majorly marked down. So I just can't pass it up when you have, when you find things like that at just a great discount. Um, and that might go for around $50 or $60. Free people, these sell real steadily for me online. This was in their clearance section for $5. You can't get clothes even at Goodwill now for $5. Um, and that is like a $20 flip. This super cute um, embroidered shirt, brand new with tags, Ariat, was also $5. And another $5 one, um, Ariat, new with tags. So kind of a no-brainer for me. I just had to get those to flip. Okay, so my third stop was actually a consignment sale for um, kids. And I picked up some clothes for the kids when we go see Santa and get pictures made. And my fourth stop was Goodwill, which um, is almost brand new in Tuscaloosa, and it didn't have a ton. So I got there and looked around, and I'm like, wow, I hope I find something. Um, but I always look at the tapestry, or the pillows for tapestry um, pillows. This one has a little, needs a little work. It was $3.99, really cute. I looked around to try to find a matching one, but I could not find it. And this brand new Hearth and Hand, um, I think that's the Target brand, um, Lemon Candle, but $1.39. The prices were great at this Goodwill for the most part. Um, it says Lemon. I might use this either as a gift for a friend or to put in the booth. Now, I found these two Santas, and I think I have one very similar to this in, um, in my booth right now. Um, but this guy just did a little research on Worth Point, KSA 1989. It's a Kurt Adler piece, um, and they go for around $15. I don't know where his price tag went, but I think he was a dollar or two. And this guy, I found um, one, exactly one just like it, that sold, um, of, I found it on Worth Point. He sold for $50, so $2.99 pickup. That's not too bad. Um, that's the highest comp for him, but that's, you know, I'm good with that. So I've been collecting cherubs. I'm gonna do some fun paint. This was 99 cents, so I couldn't leave this, this little beauty behind. And this wooden piece, $1.99. I'm gonna do some crafting with that. Okay, so I also went back to my old ways and found, and I keep saying I'm not gonna sell clothing anymore, but I just can't. Stop looking. Clothing was just really on my mind today. Um, so I found this, it's like a vintage, it looks vintage, Roebuck. So I assume that's like Sears Roebuck and company size large. Um, no other real markings, looks very vintage. And um, there, what does that say? Roebuck. Um, so yeah, that's kind of neat. This is an anthropology dress that I might keep for myself. That embroidery, I think that's embroidery. It's just too beautiful. But THML is a brand that is sold at um, Anthropology. This was uh, pretty unique. And City Player Starter Black Label. I thought if my son doesn't like it, which is super big for him, um, it will sell for around $45. So that was fun. Huck shoes, almost brand new. The, these will, should sell for $20, $25, and um, they were $7.99. Okay, I, you know I love purses. This one had okay comps, but it was only $4.99. Genuine leather, I always love grabbing leather purses. Tiginello, I think is how you say it, in great condition. Sack purses go fairly quickly for me. $5 with a $20 sell. Um, you know, I'll take that all day long on eBay. And the last and the greatest thing that I found all of today is this beautiful purse. And I have never found this purse before, or this brand, I mean. Uh, Brahmin. And I... The I need to do some more comp research, 
but for 50, $52 maybe is what I saw. I believe it's new, um, I mean not new, um, real, because I don't even know this brand well enough to know what a fake would look like, but according to the stitching, it's just really good. I did a Google in search and it is, you know, one of the styles that they have, but how about that? It is just perfect and beautiful and I love it. <sighs> okay, my, I don't even know, fifth stop at this point, was to an antique store. I ran out of thrift stores to shop at. I tried to stop at um, the Habitat Restore. And I was so excited because I'd never been to one before, but they closed early because of the game. So whatever. I went to an antique store. And it's so fun to go into antique stores and kind of compare your booth to, or you know, just look for ideas and tips and tricks and all that. Um, and you literally never know what you're going to find. So the first thing I picked up, thought would be cute for my um, Christmas display, $3, a little Elvis tin. Um, I like it. <laughs> I don't know that it's worth anything. It's got a bunch of dings on it, but um, ugh, nothing better than young Elvis. I mean, come on. Okay, check this out. Vintage sewing kit, this beautiful green design. Um, I, it looks like there's something under there supposed to be, but I don't know. Um, in incredible condition, just beautiful. Fifteen dollars. So I we're gonna struggle getting this in and having enough room for the drive home, but I think it's worth it. And then I love shopping the vendors with the sales. This one was half off. Um, so fifteen dollars. Another thing, like the cherubs, I'm collecting to do some painting on. So. That's pretty nice, something very heavy. Almost forgot, I ran across a guy having a yard sale. He um, purchases storage units and um, just sells, you know, what he finds. So I found this really cool mirror for $10 and this one for five and another Alabama shirt. Um, I, this would fit my husband, but I can't see him wearing it. It probably would sell better online anyways. Uh, for $20 total for all that. Luckily, that's exactly how much cash I had. <laughs> okay, I spent um, probably an hour and a half at the last stop, and I wish I'd had more time. I have, I took some footage there, and I am planning my next video, hopefully, you know, as soon as I possibly can. There were so many vendors and booths. It was um, an antique store in Tuscaloosa, I think it's the Alabama Antiques Market. Huge. I don't even know how many vendors they have, but it was it's a massive amount. Um, so here's what I got, but um, just please stay tuned. I'm focusing my next video that I took um, at this shop on staging do's and don'ts. So um, picking up some tips from uh, Melanie with Lost and Found Decor. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I had so much fun there. And it's just, if you're ever in Tuscaloosa, you have to but go. Here's what I got. And um, oh, first of all, these shorts for my daughter, some Alabama Nike shorts for 10 bucks. Like I said, clothes are on my mind. This is what I came to shop in Tuscaloosa for, vintage clothes. This is for me. If I ever go to a game, um, that's it. And this I also got for me, a Crystal Gale t-shirt. It's obviously a reproduction. Uh, it was $5. And this shirt was $10, this um, vintage Alabama shirt. But this adorable throw, I could not leave behind. Look at this handiwork. It was only $12. Look at that. It's only, I think it's just the size of like you put it at the bottom of your bed just for decor, you know, just for the look because it doesn't fold out. I mean, how big is that? Two feet? It's, I have never, I mean, I can't even tell you. I've never seen anything like it. It's just so beautiful. And I, just thinking of how I'm going to display it in my booth. But for $12, I left it and then went back and got it. I just couldn't believe it. So uh, yeah, this is my haul for today. I don't know how much money I spent, way too much, um, but I got clothes for the family, so it's all good. Okay, so let me know, what do you think? Which is your favorite? Um, would you go shopping in Tuscaloosa? I think I'm, I've got a plan now. I don't need to ever go to a football game. I can always just go shopping. Um, but stay tuned and consider joining our private group um, on Facebook. It's, um, a, it's a paid group. We do a lot of challenges and 
helping each other improve our booths and boost our sales. So it's only $5 a month and you'll get a ton more value out of it. I can almost guarantee it. Um, but just go to patreon.com slash vintage booth pro. Um, and let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you on the next one.